Yo, what is going on, Descendants? Got another build video for you. This one's revolving around Python. Honestly, I think Python's a really cool gun. It's got a crazy high fire rate. It's a poison gun. I kind of have a thing for poison guns. And this thing spits. So here's some quick gameplay, and then we'll get into it. I do want to say I am using Bunny just so I could get through the dungeon very quickly. I used Bunny is because I wanted to just display the damage the gun can do. Uh, just know that if you do use Freyna, you are going to do more damage, right? The gun is just kind of designed for her, but I just wanted to display display the gun's raw damage before you introduce skill damage into it, right? Here's a quick dungeon boss fight and we'll get into it. So let's hop into the gun and take a look. When looking at the unique ability, it's called Prey. On hitting a weak point, inflicts the unique ability Prey on the target. Uh, it's a pretty simple ability. Uh, how it works is when you hit the weak point, you inflict Prey on the enemy. It's gonna last for 1.2 seconds. Max stacks is 22. Non-attribute resistance, minus 2%. Toxin resistance, minus 2%. And then that is the same for stat. So pretty simple, just hit him with a weak point and then you're gonna inflict Prey on them and they're gonna take more poison damage and more non-attribute damage. So when peeping the stats, crit rates, horribly low 5% but the stat we really care about with this gun is going to be weak point damage this has a base stat of two times and then I have a perk on the gun that I rolled for 10.5% so this is a high weak point damage modifier for a gun for reference the other popular SMG in the game the Thunder Cage has a base stat of 1.2 so the reason I'm bringing this and making this a point um, is because we're going to build into this with the gun so let's hop into the mods real quick so when we take a look at what mods we're running we have toxic enhancement weak point sight real life fighter toxic gun barrel rifling reinforcement action and reaction fire rate up have aiming and hit rate insight um, and then i also have consumes magazine we went with real life fighter because with real life fighter the goal is to focus on a weak point right to get damage with this gun it's doing the most with weak points so you should already be hitting weak points this is just going to increase your damage as long as you're hitting the weak point and that's by a hundred percent and in a perfect world you're not missing any shots that's a hundred percent extra attack damage on your gun not only is it good because you're going to get that extra damage but the gun has a high fire rate right so you're going to be able to stack up those stacks pretty quickly again this is a weak point build so we're just going to focus on weak point another good weak point mod for this gun is actually weak point damage plus 40 percent we do take the 20 percent accuracy hit we also take the 20 percent accuracy hit here now you might be thinking with those two mods that's a heavy hit on accuracy but that's why we do have this accuracy mod which actually does cover it and actually gives us 10 percent more accuracy so we actually don't really get penalized at all we get a 10% bonus. The other stat that makes this gun really good is going to be the fire rate. Uh, fire rate base stat is 923. So usually with guns, you want to build into their strengths, right? Some of the strengths on this gun is going to be your high fire rate. It's going to be your weak point damage. And it's going to be the ability to reduce toxin resistance by using your ability prey, right? Since we're focusing so much on toxin and weak point damage, and the gun has such a low crit rate, uh, we're just not going to build into that at all. We're going to build into the weak point damage, into the poison attack, and into 
firearm attack. And then the other part that we're gonna focus on for gun damage rather than just the weak point is also gonna be toxic. That's half the gun special ability, right? So the two mods we've done that with are toxic enhancement and then toxic gun barrel. These attribute attacks do not work unless you already have the damage on your gun, either through a perk roll on the gun itself or by adding this bullet improvement. Just something I thought was worth mentioning that if you're gonna build any kind of gun into an element, uh, just know that you do need either toxic enhancement bullet improvement or you need to put the roll on the gun itself. And so from my testing, using a bullet improvement with an attribute attack mod is gonna net you the most damage out of the element. And the whole idea with this gun, specifically Python, right, is to do as much weak point as we can and to do as much toxic damage as we can. As far as the rolls on my gun, uh, they're actually all really good rolls. One of them is just kind of going to be circumstantial. Uh, so I went with firearm attack, attribute status trigger effect rate, bonus firearm attack versus legion of immortality, and then weak point damage. If you don't know, legion of immortality are these guys. Uh, they're the electric enemy. And these guys are actually weak to toxin. So bonus fire attack versus legion of immortality on this gun is actually a really good roll. If you're going to be using this roll for dungeon runs and legion happens to be the enemy in there, you're going to do extra damage to them. If you're just not really a fan of having legion of immortality as a roll, the other options I would have are fire attack versus colossus and then rounds per magazine. Those are both really good options. Obviously one's going to do more damage for colossi and then the other one's going to allow you to shoot more. So overall, I think this is a really fun gun. I think it's got a really nice feel to it. But for a Another option for a sub, especially when you're using it with Freyna, this is going to be a really, really good sub to use. Again, it does a lot of weak point damage. We stacked a lot of poison damage on there. The ability prey is going to increase how much poison damage we do. And then with using it with Freyna, you're also going to get the increased damage on your skills. All right, that's going to do it for this gun build video. I hope I was able to help you guys out with this poison build. I do stream almost every day on Twitch under the username Smallzy. Till the next one. Later.